Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix some common decal problems in Unreal Engine. And by the way, you can download the full project files from Google Drive and Mega. The links are in the description. First, we'll fix the issue of decals stretching over vertical surfaces. Next, we'll add a circular opacity fade. So if you have very sharp decal edges, they'll blend much better. And finally, we'll add some noise to break up the decal. Perfect for post-apocalyptic or damaged environments. You can even apply this on decals that are made only with an image. Here, we are only working with the opacity output. The rest of the material doesn't matter at all. So let's get started. I'm using the Quixel Master Material. As I mentioned, it doesn't make any difference since we are only working on the opacity output. If you don't have access to the Quixel Master Material, I've included it inside the project so you can download it. First, add a Scene Texture node and set the Scene Texture ID to World Normal. Then add an Absolute node, also known as ABS. Add an Object Orientation node and again connect it to another ABS node. Now connect the outputs of both ABS nodes into a dot node. Next, add an ADD node with a parameter and set its value to 0.2. This is usually the best value and you won't need to change it often. After that, add a saturate node. Connect the output of saturate to a round node. Now, the output of the round node should be multiplied with the opacity. At this point, the nodes are working correctly. I'll also add a switch so that we can enable or disable this option inside the material instance. And finally, to keep the graph clean, I'm using reroute nodes to organize everything. In this part, we're going to create a controllable opacity circle. This will help us remove sharp edges around the decal. It's not always necessary. But in some cases with specific decals, it can be useful and make things look more natural. So, let's go back to the material. We're going to create a few parameters to move the position of this circle. I'll name the first one Circle U and the second one Circle V. Next, add a text chord node and also create another parameter for the circle size. Take the text chord and divide it by the scale parameter. Then connect circle U and circle V to an append vector node. Now connect both outputs into an add node. After that, add a subtract node. For input B, create another parameter. This parameter lets us move the circle, although it's not always needed. By default, I'll set it to 0.5, which means the circle will be centered right in the middle of the texture. Next, 
add a length node. Finally, divide the length by another parameter, which we'll call circle size. After that, add a one minus node, then connect it to a saturate node. To control the saturate, add a power node with a parameter. And that's it. Just like before, we'll add a reroute node and a switch, so the effect can be toggled on or off. Remember, to keep your material instance clean, you can group your parameters. Some of my parameter values were a bit off here, but that was just for testing to make sure everything worked correctly. Now, let's create the noise effect. Copy the same UV control section we made earlier, but make sure to rename the parameters. If you don't, changing one will also affect the other. Next, bring in a texture sample for the noise. I'm using the noise texture from Unreal's starter content. Just grab one channel from it. I used the red channel. Then add a subtract node with a parameter called dissolve threshold. After that, add a saturate with a power node for control and make that into a parameter too. Finally, multiply it with a switch, just like we did with the other two. Everything should now work correctly. If you run into any issues, feel free to ask in the comments, or you can always download the project files from the description. They're completely free. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.